Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your tarot reading for September 11th through the 17th. <coughs> this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Leo. This may or may not resonate as this is watched by thousands of people. So if, if it does, great. If it doesn't, then so be it. Ooh, Justice. Leo, September 11th through the 17th. Love reading. End of a sticky situation, I hope. Truth and clarity, introspection, balance, letting go, letting go of something this week, which looks real good. It really does. It looks like a great week for you. All right. The first cards are justice cards about something happening, you know, that was right. It's finally something is happening. It was the right thing. Something happened, the right thing. Um, it looks like something has ended. It's the end of a sticky situation. Like I said, something has happened and something is over with. And, you know, I think it's because of a period of soul searching, a period of going within, a period of restraint. All right. Because right here, I mean, there's definitely been some restraint, not wanting to share something or just, um, some, some kind of resistance. But here's the truth. The truth of a situation, the clarity, the truth comes out, the truth has come out. If it hasn't come out already this week, it looks like you're having some um, clear thoughts. The clarity is coming that you have been waiting for. I think that you have persevered and you have won a lot of small battles. Perhaps you have something new on the horizon, something phys some, something. this is something new on the physical level. Okay, this right here is the wheel of the fortune, wheel of the year it says, but wheel of fortune, that's about good luck is on the way. If it hasn't happened already, security, you may, maybe you're going to be getting some money. I mean, look at this. I mean, it really, I mean, maybe some money is headed your way. All right. This is meant to be a love reading, but looks right now like it's about, I mean, there's no cups here except for this six of cups that that is, um, rom that's about fantasizing about the past. It can also mean someone from your past, but right here we have this resistance and we have this restraint and going within. Maybe you've just been re reminiscing about your past and going over your childhood quite a bit. Maybe you've just been resisting any more changes at this time. And I'm not sure what that's about, but we're going to get more into it. This is clarity. Clarity about something from your past or clarity about children. Letting go of something because you, re you realize the truth could have something to do with some your childhood or with children now in your life. It looks like you have won a lot of little battles. You know, you have a lot of life experience here. All right. And that here's respect and honor. So there's a, there's, it looks really, really good. Good fortune is on your way with security and abundance and plenty, plenty. All right. Right here, you're about this, this truth, this clarity is very, um, forthright. All right. It's cut through the bullshit clarity. There's no dishonesty about it so whatever comes out it comes out or came out comes out harshly but it's the truth and it has to do with you being stuck in something where you were where you were resisting something you are resisting and it's connected to this love so you were resisting something and you just, perhaps you just need a little bit of time. If this hasn't happened already, 
This is ha a little bit of time to go within and focus on the next steps. That brings balance back to your life and causes you to let go of something and brings the clarity back. And it comes back quickly and brings back respect and good fortune and abundance and security and happiness. And plenty. I mean, it looks really good this week. I think that there's an honest truth that you, that you come to realize about something. That's what it is. And it brings you justice. It brings you clarity. It brings you balance. It's the end of a sticky situation. Thank God, right? Now I'm going to do my after tarot and see what comes up. Now, I don't see a lot of cups. We'll see if cups comes up here. So maybe it's just all about your thoughts this week and your clarity and your newfound respect. Because there's a lot of respect. This is respect, honorable, praise, recognition. You know, feeling good. And I think that you are. I think that you're feeling very good this week. I don't see any negativity. You know, because I think this is over. This is over. Whatever, Wherever you were at, where it wasn't very good, where, you know... I think that is definitely over. This is for the sign of Leo. September 11th through the 17th. And we are going to go with that. Ooh, we got this card twice now. Same card. Oh, I got this one twice, too. You, like I said, plenty. Oh, now you got this card twice, too. A lot of double energy here. So you could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your life. You could have a Libra. You could have um, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm going to say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well because we have these. Um, <coughs> and uh, this is pretty much the Queen of Pentacles to me. I mean, she's not the, quite the Queen yet, but she is. You know, she's very um, prosperous. She's grateful for all that she has. So I think that you are feeling very grateful at this time for what you have um, become or, and what you have grown to be. And what you know, I mean, I think that you are. I think you're feeling very grateful. Um, you're, maybe you're grateful for this person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe you're grateful for the mutual respect because from it goes from one to two. It looks like there's some mutual respect within your life. Maybe you're grateful for um, everything that you have. You are. You are grateful for everything that you have. Um, we do have this resistance here, though. And now because you have it twice, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Maybe that, but this is you letting go of resisting. Perfect. Because both the resistance is right next to it, right here. We got the letting go right here. It is. It's letting go of the resistance. The resistance to give yourself to somebody. This is about your ships finally being so close. This good luck is right around the corner for you. Big time. The, good, the Wheel of Fortune comes up when you're about to start a new chapter or when you're in a new chapter, the beginning of a new chapter. It's just barely started to spin. It brings a lot of abundance and security and stability. Seriously. I think the ships are they're in sight because you've earned it. You've earned it. Your life experience up until now has earned it. And you should feel proud of all that you've accomplished. Absolutely. Feel proud. I think there's a mutual respect between you and possibly, you know, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo as well. These readings are turning out to be more general than love. And that's the way it is. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. I can't change it. Um, 
I think a lot of people must be working on themselves this week. I think this is, is kind of a love reading, but I think it's more of a general reading where you come to this clarity and you're freed. You're freed from some sticky situation that was kind of like, might have been a lot in your head. You know what I mean? You were resisting for some reason out of fear, but I think that fear is it's over. You know, I think that you've made a decision and balance is, I think this is a very balanced week where there's a lot of respect, self-respect, mutual respect, gratitude. Romantic feelings. You, Your feelings are real and worth exploring. That's where you were resisting. See the resisting right underneath it? You were resisting your feelings. Damn it. And fear of being hurt. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Be positive. Be positive. Lighthearted ener light energy are the main words on that card. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. That raises your vibration an unbelievable amount. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm sure you can figure out what that card means. That could be part of your resistance. Or somebody else's resistance. Anyway, I'm sure I'm not. I, there's so many different instances with this. I'm sure that you can apply that to your situation. I said something about children in a reading, and some lady freaked out on me. So I'm just going to be um, more quiet about that. I don't know for how long, though. Sometimes I can't control my tongue. So right now I'm going to be quiet, but. Uh, we will uh, we'll stop right there. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Seriously. This week, if anything pops up that's out of the ordinary that makes you want to resist again, go back to this. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ. From your usual type and expectations. It may not be what you're used to. doesn't mean it's wrong. So, Leo, that's what I have for you for this week. September 11th through the 17th. Thanks for watching.